Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, peace and joy be with you. In a short while, we will be listening to the reflection from Father David Lemebo of the Missionaries of God's Love. Let's be open to the Holy Spirit and prepare our hearts so the Word of God will dwell richly in our lives today. My word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path and a light unto my path. One day, Jesus was praying alone in the presence of his disciples. He put this question to them, Who do the crowds say I am? And they answered, John the Baptist, others Elijah, and others say one of the ancient prophets come back to life. But you, he said, who do you say I am? It was Peter who spoke up, the Christ of God, he said. But he gave them strict orders not to tell anyone anything about this. The Son of Man, he said, is destined to suffer grievously, to be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes, and to be put to death, and to be raised up on the third day. We never know enough about who Jesus is. Many people have their own opinions about Jesus. In our hearts, we too have our own measures of who Jesus is to us. The disciples reported various assessments of the people they met. Some say Jesus was the prophet Elijah or John the Baptist and so on. Even today, many people have their own take. Some consider Jesus a great prophet or a great teacher with his extraordinary teachings. Some consider Jesus to be the most famous person. Some see him as a wonderful healer. For most of us, we value Jesus as our Savior, our Lord. But what does that mean? Even Peter, the first disciple to say it, didn't fully understand when Jesus foretold his suffering about his rejection and his cross Peter immediately refused the image of a suffering God did not enter Peter's imagination of a God who reigns on earth and in heaven the mystery of the humanity and divinity of Jesus is an unfathomable mystery that will never be fully unearthed Even 2,000 years later, human sciences, including theology, psychology, and biology, are still exploring what it means to be a human being who is also a God. What does it mean to be weak and tempted like other humans and never sin? What was the inner struggle that Jesus felt and went through? What filled his mind? Did Jesus know all like God the Father knows all? Or is he just like us humans who have limits of knowledge? What does it mean when it says that Jesus grew in wisdom? Did he grow up like the normal children? Did he study and ask what a word or concept means? Or did he know everything like an omniscient God since childhood? What is certain is that Jesus knew that there would be suffering awaited him. Our concept and knowledge of God and his existence is different from what God knows. Many people leave God because they cannot accept the reality of various kinds of sufferings that are considered unfair. Why doesn't God act? Why did God allow it to happen? Why does the Father allow His Son to suffer? What is the use of suffering in our lives? Can't we perfectly and happily live without suffering? This is what actually happened behind Peter who protested against Jesus. 
To be honest, we too might protest. The mystery between suffering and happiness is like the mystery of how Jesus is fully God and fully human. The two realities live in oneness and cannot be separated, even though they are like heaven and earth. Are we open to the mystery of this suffering God? Are we still searching for it? Are we ready if the cross of our suffering comes and disturbs our happiness? Let us pray. O oh Lord Jesus, thank you for giving yourself to us. You are God who became human and suffered like us. You are an unfathomable, unfathomable mystery. Bring us to know you more so that we too will be more open to the mysteries of this life which is full of suffering so that we too can enjoy your resurrection and live happily with you forever in heaven.